Right, well, it's absolutely hammering it down outside today. So I thought I would do something in here that didn't involve going outside. So I thought I'd pull the Metro out, empty out everything that's in it and on it, and uh, start seeing what we've got. So I've got a pile of bits over here and I've started fitting up panels. Now, obviously not a final fit, but I just need to get everything on here. A, so it's off the floor and not gonna get damaged. And B, so we can see what needs doing um, and where things go. So I've already established I can't have door pockets or door pulls because the cage gets in the way. So I've had to strip them off, but I've got the doors hung, the wings on, the bonnet on, etc. The boot lid was already on, but that's there. Um, so yeah, I've also actually fitted the steering column, connected it to the rack, um, installed the accelerator pedal and run the MGF cable in. I know you're not going to see much here, it's a black hole now I've put the bonnet on. But I've also, yeah you can't see, hang on, there we go. So I've also run and connected the rear brake lines. They're just hanging underneath at the minute but they're um, connected in there. Clutch line is there ready, um, although I don't think it goes over the front, it probably goes the back the same as those. But that fitting doesn't go in there anyway. This is that um, OBP one, so I need to see what happens with that. I presume there's supposed to be a reservoir on there and the, and the pipe goes in the bottom fitting. I don't know, I need to look that up. Um, so that's in there. Throttle cable is on the pedal, I'm missing the um, flange there, but that needs to go to the back. I don't know if I could run it inside you know, where it sits there around and, and down the side of the car where it needs to go underneath. Um, I've got a, what's left of a wiring loom. So I need to see what I've got. I'm sure, I, I'm sure that's the Metro loom that I took out there. So I need to put all that out in a minute and see what it is. Because it's with other Metro parts and clocks, etc. So I don't know. I'm sure I took an interior loom out of a Metro. So I need to find that because we don't have one in here. So um, I'm now gonna have a cup of tea and my lunch and then decide what to do after lunch. Right, so we have kind of fitted the spoiler. I've just measured it up, marked it up, drilled a couple of holes, just put a couple of screws in it. So at least that that's there. Let's zoom out a bit. Um, as I say, got all the panels on. 13s won't go over the MGF brakes, so I've just put them on backwards just so they're off the floor. Um, I have obviously fitted the panels, put the handbrake in, just put some cables in there that I got out of the MGF. Obviously in the MGF they go up over the bulkhead and then down. So um, I don't know what we're going to do here, maybe we'll have to do the same. Um, Column, as I said before, columns back in, pedal box, accelerator, etc. Um, steering wheel just put on for now. See that that's a interference fit. Um, all right, so what we've got left? We have the tank. Obviously, we've got to make a, a mount for that, or I've got to get a mount made. The rear arches. Um, the chap who built this was going wide arch, I believe. So had to, um, well, I say had to, he cut them out to get bigger wheels in. I only want smaller wheels. I'd, I'd like to just do the 14s, if possible, the MGF 14s. Um, depends how it how it goes, I suppose. So that'll be a decide later. Maybe they can be put in a bit wider. Um, we've still got the coolant pipes to go back on underneath. Um, I've got a spare set there. The black set are the matrix hoses to go to a heater if we need to do that. So that's something else to work out. Um, what else we've got here? The gear selector and gear cables. They've got to go in. Um, that's a spare handbrake. Don't need that now, we've got one in. We've got some fuel lines. Um, they are, I presume, Metro ones, because obviously MGF had the tank behind the seats. So that they didn't have long fuel lines. So I'm guessing they're Metro ones, and we might be able to reuse them. Um, some engine mounts and bits there that I've got. That was the 
bolt-in slam panel that I had on the white one. Let's just put in there anyway. Uh, we've got a clutch cable over there, which we don't need because we're going hydraulic. Um, spare horn, wiper blades, etc. So that's where we're at at the moment. That is an interior loom for a Metro. It's got the door switches and stuff I saw quickly. So I obviously just bounded that up when I took it out and put it in there. We're going to need to strip that down because obviously the main loom plug was at the front. Um, and now the engine's at the back. So we either extend the engine loom to the front or we unpick the loom that we've got and try to bring as much back as we can. Um, I'll offer that all up. Now I will put it in, but not fix it in because obviously we need to do welding and bodywork and stuff. So it's easier if that's out of the way, but I will need to run it to try and work out where it goes. So that's a job that I've got to do. Um, the windows are down behind it, so I don't need to worry about them at the moment. So yes, that's where we're up to. Um, right, I will get on and do something else.